Having a personal relationship with God Part 2, the parent-child analogy when he gets older and more mature, all of sudden he wants to hear more about you, your life, and your problems. He wants to know more about you, your past, why you do what you do and why you think the way that you do. This child is truly abiding in you, truly living in you. You feel like you and him are, one in spirit. As you grow older, your personal relationship deepens and keeps getting better and better. Then you have the other child. He could care less about you and your personality. The only time he will ever approach you is when he needs something specific from you. He will even go as far as to act like he cares about you, but once he gets what he wants from you, he is back to ignoring you until the next time he needs something from you. As he grows older, you grow farther and farther apart. When he is finally able to leave home on his own, you never hear from him unless he once again needs something specific from you. He hardly ever calls or comes over. Now if you are the loving father over these two children, which of the two will you have a strong, natural desire to help out when they may need your help on something? You will have no natural desire to help the one who has been using you over all of those years. However, with the child who has established a true, loving, personal relationship with you, you will bend over backwards to give that child anything and everything that he may need. Why? Because he loves you for you. He does not love you for what you can do for him. He loves you for the person that you are and for the friend that you have become for him over all those years. In fact, your love for this loving son will be so great, many of the times you will give him what he will need before he will even ask you for it. Why? Because you are so in tune with him, you will know what he will need sometimes before he will even know what he will need. Then you will want to give it to him before he will even ask you for it because your love for him is so great. You have a very strong natural desire to want to make him happy, all because of the good personal relationship that he has established with you over all those years. It is the exact same way with God the Father. Establish a true, loving, intimate, personal relationship with God the Father and see if your whole life does not do a complete 180. Nothing will touch the heart of God more than you attempting to establish a good, close, personal relationship with Him, with you truly wanting Him for who He is, not for what He can do for you by way of material blessings.